Rima, Yahoo's charging between two hundred thousand and five hundred thousand dollars for their ad units here, right? Mm -hmm. um, don't you think that's a little steep? I think they're trying to um, make themselves on the same level as Apple with their iAd, and I think that um, you know they kind of have worked pretty hard on these live ads. Um, I saw how they did the demo and how it really is sort of like a TV. Um, sort of like a video inside the iPad and it's very interactive and I think that they're trying to you know position themselves as high instead of making themselves like um, low end. But haven't they learned a lesson from what happened with Apple? I mean Apple I remember with iAd they started out with a one million minimum right? and then they had to go down to a half million dollars and I mean do you think that um, marketers consider, you know, a six-figure budget for mobile just mainstream or? I think they do, but I think that advertisers such as Toyota and DreamWorks who have already signed on as launch sponsors are showing that um, even if the price is high, they're willing to pay it to um, promote their new offerings, whether it's a new film or a new car. And I think that people are testing it and they want to see how different it is from the iAd. And it does use HTML5 and it is very um, real with that. So that's the point of difference with iAd, mm -hmm. HTML5? Yeah, uh, Yahoo um, definitely prom is saying that um, a lot of what they're doing right now is HTML5, and that's why it took them very long to um, get these live ads started. Great.